Hey, Professor, um, this is our ECE 4305 final project. Um, just to go over the requirements, we have a potentiometer um, being our XADC input. We are using our mouse for our PS2, and we have um, our boat as our moving sprite. As you can see, we have ECE 4305 final project as our text. Um, so for the functionality, the potentiometer works as a timer for our sleep mode. And so this represents the number of seconds that our system will be asleep. Uh, for our sake, I'm going to turn it down so we're not waiting like over a minute to, for it to go to sleep. Um, let's turn it down. Yeah, six seconds will be good. So currently we are in our sleep mode. As you can see, the little boat is animated. It's bobbing in the water. Uh, we have our text and then these stars are actually randomly generated. I did this by um, make, setting a bunch of right pixels to print and then marrying them by subtracting their position by four, their Y position by 480 so that they will sit and mirror on the screen. If I shake the mouse, as you can see, the system wakes up. And right now our mouse is moving a little slow. It could be faster. And the reason for that is we are using the four bottom most switches to determine the sensitivity or the DPI of our mouse. So if I turn these two up, just so we'll see significant movement, you'll see that the mouse is moving significantly faster around the screen. For my sake, I'm gonna take the fourth one down. So I'm still moving pretty fast, but not nearly as sensitive. Uh, this wallpaper here was made by Cena, and it is using the bar core and so he was able to make the mountains, the sky, as well as this Windows symbol, which is super cool. And this does look a little bit like the classic Windows screensaver or wallpaper that we all know and love. Um, because we are using the PS2 mouse, that also gives us the ability to um, click. And we have our right and left click. So if you left click on the yellow square, it flashes the message, you found the Easter egg. The way that works is we are taking our X and Y coordinates, and so we set them to be within this range of the yellow square, so that if we click anywhere else, nothing happens. But if our left button click is equal to one, while it is within the bounds of the yellow square, you'll see that if I click outside it, it doesn't work, click inside it, it displays, then we will get our message. And it flashes for about half a second, and um, during that flash, um, it does sleep the system, so I, my mouse is stuck while this uh, message is flashing. So yeah, that is the functionality of our project. I will also have a um, code explanation video um, in the turn-in so that you can um, see what we did to the files.